but I'm just tempted to put on the glitter. Wow, wow. did I show you what shimmer shade I was putting? I was putting this shimmer shade, by the way. Now I'm gonna be putting this glitter. Wait, should I go with the dark glitter or the light? Probably the light. No, I'm going with this glitter. This one. I'll take a tiny amount. No, that's a little bit too tiny. This much. Ooh, wow. Okay, now there's fall out. I, I, I felt something falling down, but I don't know where it went. On my dress. Great. Not dress, the jacket that I'm wearing. Ooh, I like this. I really like this actually. I think this is the first time I'm wearing some sort of glitter on my lids, if I'm not wrong. I did not really have a glitter palette before this. Wow. By the way, I'm not wearing any lashes today because honestly, I'm not very good at putting on lashes. So it kind of scares me on days where I have to be ready at a particular time. Wow, so that's how it looks. Let me just also, I'm not doing my eyebrows. I usually don't do my eyebrows. I just leave it be. Uh, I know that's not everybody's thing, but I just leave it be. On some days, I do my eyebrows for my videos. Otherwise, I don't like to do my eyebrows at all. So I'm just blending the edges. Again, I'm taking that shade that I hate. I'm putting it above my transition shade. Just to lighten things up. All right, and there's this really pretty shimmer shade which I wanna put on my inner corners. So I'm using this brush. It's again from the mini mini store. I'm not able to speak today. Mini so set, yeah. So I'm using that beautiful shimmer shade on my inner corners. Now I'm thinking what should I do for my lower lash line. I remember this brush that I was trying to do my outer V with. I think this will come in handy for doing whatever I want to do now. And which is I'm going to be using this dark shade and this lighter shade on my lower lash line. I'm using the darker shade first. I've done that and I'm going to go wow the powder is in my eye Oof, huh. I'm gonna go with the lighter shade alright so I think we are finally done with the eyeshadow am I proud of it um, that is debatable I mean like I've not done a horrible job but yeah I'm just really pissed about dropping my foundation on my dress. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on some liner which is a really difficult part so let's see how that goes. I'm using Maybelline the Colossal Liner. I'm not very good with liners. Let's just go, let's just go with it. Wow I can barely see. Okay, not bad. Alright, my liner is going into different directions. But that's okay. I'm doing liner for hooded eyes. Which is a little bit more difficult and different than... I mean, it's not that difficult as such. But it's definitely different. So my liner is not even at all. But I'm just gonna leave it at that because that will ruin my eye makeup as well. looks like an aeroplane wow this looked way better without the liner that's what i'm discovering right now but now it's too late wow 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 wow, wow. okay i'm not proud of the liner 
it looks really wonky but i don't have any other option i have to go and wow i forgot to wipe off the powder i'll just dab it up just gonna put some mascara this is the maybelline hyper curl mascara this is my first time using it Wow, this is probably the worst I've applied my mascara. I guess it's the pressure. For my lips, first I'll be using this Bella Worst Lip Definer. And what's the shade? I don't know. What is the shade number? It's called Twilight Zone Number no. 08. And it's in this pencil sort of uh, packaging. And you have to sharpen this, by the way. It looks like you can twist it or something, but you can't. You have to sharpen it like any regular pencil this looks like plastic but it's actually soft plastic so i'm just gonna la line my lips with this i can't believe this happened it broke so i have to sharpen it all right so it is sharpened you can see and there's a lot of plastic stuff along with the liner inside this wow i forgot to do a really important step which was actually to put lip balm and moisturize my lips now i'm gonna go with this matte lip gloss by longwear matte lip gloss by beauty creations beauty creations longwear matte lip gloss let's see how it works i'm just gonna put some more of my lip liner Right, so this is how we look. So after this, I am gonna be doing some contour. For that, I have this brush from Forever 52, Daily Life Forever 52, and it's the brush called PX048. It's the contour brush. Now for contour, I have is from Miss Claire. I don't know if that even like you can. I don't even think you can find this anyway so i'm just lightly gonna do it so that i don't ruin anything and let's see if this brush does anything to blend it so what next now i have to do some blush so for blush i'm going to be using two blushes two different blushes and the first one is from Makeup Obsession, Live Love London, in the shade Blush B103, looks like this, it's a light pink, so of course I'm not going to apply it like that. The second one is from Sugar, Contour de Force Mini Blush, in the shade 04 Salmon Superstar, looks like this, and th this actually came with the kit, or whatever it is, set, called Oops, Limited Edition Makeup Trio Set, I think it I got it for free I don't know I bought something and I got it for free but yeah it, it comes this this blush comes in that kit so I'm gonna be using the brush P02 from Plume and they have really nice brushes I have eyeshadow brushes from them as well I've not used them I, maybe I'll do it for, for a video and let's see how that works I'm pretty sure they're nice though this one is a face brush for blush dark one the sugar contour day force mini blush right this blush looks like this it's brown almost like contour stuff maybe that's why it's called contour day force uh, so i'm gonna be dipping into that first and wow i forgot my towel so that i drop everything on my dress and then i'm gonna be dipping into the makeup obsession blush which is so light Wow, I mixed it. Anyway, it looks like it and I'm just gonna 
do the blush. And I do my blush a little high up. Definitely do not need any more. This should be enough. If, if you're wondering, I'm looking at the other mirror, my closet mirror. There. So I'm just blending it a bit. Oh wow, looks nice. So again, I'm just gonna do the same thing: the dark blush first, then the light. Mix both and do the same. I know I was telling you that I only put it high up but it naturally just came down and now I just have to go with it. So the last step is highlight. I'm not putting any powder because when I put that powder for the eyeshadow it has made everything so powdery so I don't think I need any more powder but I am gonna just blend some of the contour. So for the highlighter, I'll be using the I Like It Hot and Shiny Illuminator by Stay Quirky. It looks something like this and I'll show you. It looks really pretty. I really like the packaging. It looks like a pen if I'm not wrong. Let me see. Wow, yeah, it looks like an ink pen and it's just so pretty. I absolutely love it. It's a very pretty color. Like it's not a very blinding highlight, but I just, it's so pretty. So I'm just gonna apply it on the bridge of my nose, maybe a little bit here on my cupid's bow, a bit here on my chin, and the main part, the high points of my cheeks, and yes, it glows pink, so that's something I love about it, because I love pink, do I need it here, I don't know. <laughs> done with my makeup as I said I'm not doing any lashes my li eyeliner is not the best it just looks really <laughs> weird I don't know I could do better but maybe you know the time constraint and everything because you know I can't be very late I did not get the time to get very earlier all right so I'll just show you guys my makeup I'll come a little bit closer you can see what I've done, I've done my base, my concealer, my contour, my blush, my highlighter, I, I've done my lips, I've done my eyeshadow, I've done my eyeliner very badly and uh, I've not done my eyebrows. I have not. I know it makes everything better but that's something I'm not good at at all. You know, if I don't do it right, I look like Shin Chan. So I don't want to do it. That's about it for the video. I am ready makeup wise. Now what I have to do is wash my hands, get the makeup off my hands, put some lotion. You know, I'm looking very ashy. Otherwise, I'm, I have like really dry skin. So I have to put lotion, everything. I have to put my hair on. Wait, I'll show you guys my extensions. So these are my hair extensions. And this is my hair topper. I don't know if I, I'll be putting the hair topper today. Let's see how my hair is doing. But I'll be putting that and I'm done with my makeup. I'll be putting some lotion and then I'll just show you guys the complete look. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Of course, share this video with somebody who might enjoy watching such content. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you are notified every time I post a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.